What are maximum we know? Solve the positive integers a and b such that 2 to the power of a, the minus 2 to the power of b is equal to 2016. Of course, you should know that 2 to the power of a and 2 to the power of b, they are both positive. Even a and b are both real numbers. Pay more attention to the right hand side. 2016. It is a positive integer, so now I can say that. Because 2 to the power of a, the minus 2 to the power of b is a positive integer, then that means 2 to the power of a, the minus 2 to the power of b, it is greater than 0. What does it mean if 2 to the power of a, the minus 2 to the power of b, is greater than 0, is positive? That means 2 to the power of a is greater than 2 to the power of b, and you can get 2 to the power of a is greater than 2 to the power b. Since 2 to the power of a is greater than 2 to the power of b, then we can get a is greater than b. And we know that a and b are both positive integers. Then I can substitute. How should I substitute? Of course, we can find another positive integer, t, such that a is equal to b plus t. So that a is equal to b plus t, because a and b are both positive integers. So t is also a positive integer. Then we have to substitute a into this equation. Now a isn't a anymore, it is b plus t. So 2 to the power of a is 2 to the power of b plus t minus 2 to the power of b is equal to 2016. And then this exponent b plus t, not nice. Use this formula, x to the power of m plus n equals, is equal to x to the power of m and then times x to the power of n. It's easy, isn't it? So now, x is 2, m is b, and n is this t. It'll become 2 to the power of b, then times 2 to the power of t, and then minus 2 to the power of b is 2016. 2 to the power of b, 2 to the b. The same. So take them out. Because b and t are both positive integers. So 2 to the power of b and 2 to the power of t. They are both positive integers. And then 2 to the power of t, the minus 1, it is also a positive integer. We should rewrite this 2016 into the product of two numbers. 2016 is very nice. It can be written as 2 to the power of 5 then times 63. Now we cannot make a decision that what 2 to the power of b is and what 2 to the power of t the minus 1 is equal to. But we have found a clue. 2 to the power of b is always even. And what about 2 to the power of t? It is also always even because b and t are both positive integers. And then what about 2 to the power of t then minus 1? Of course, it should be odd. So 2 to the power of b is an even number, and 2 to the power of t then minus 1, it is an odd number. An even number then times a odd number is equal to 2016. And 2016 can be regarded as 2 to the power of 5 then times 63. Since 2 to the power of t then minus 1 is always odd, so it is equal to 63. And 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of 5. So, very nice. Isn't it? 
solve the value for t and for b. You can solve that 2 to the power of t is equal to 64, because 64 is 2 to the power of 6, so t is equal to 6. And what about b? 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of 5, so b is equal to 5. Here, most of you will believe that we have done, but we have not. Because a is equal to b plus d. We have to solve the value of a and b, not the value of t and b. t is a number which we have substituted. It is not a value which we have to solve for. So, a, b, it is equal to a is t plus b, it is 6, then plus 5, it is 11, and b is 5. You can substitute it into this equation and check it, and you can find that it is right. So now we have found the solution of this equation. Oh yeah! And give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.